I'm Sean from Crimson Guitars, and in this video, I'm gonna go through the entire milling process of this lovely piece of rough sawn walnut using all of our Triton tools here in the Crimson Guitars School of Blue 3. As it dried, it is also warped quite badly. There is a big cup along its length, plus it twists corner to corner. Before we get into chopping things, making sawdust, I'm gonna check this with a moisture meter and make sure it is actually suitable for, well, for what we want, for guitar building. For woodworking and guitar building, we want this below about 12%. It is going to vary across the piece of wood, so it's important to check in many different places. This is coming in at about 10.2, 10.3%, 11 down there. So this is absolutely perfect for what we need. I'm gonna cut this down because it is over length for what we need, and because of the large cup in it, it's gonna make life a lot easier to shorten it just a little bit. Any cup you can cut out is gonna save thickness at the final product. Moving on to the surface planer next, uh, we use this to straighten one face and one edge. It establishes a nice flat surface. I'll adjust the fence so that it is high enough that the wood passes through underneath. I'm also using push sticks to help keep your hands away from the blades. They're also nice and grippy to help keep holding the wood. I keep all my pressure on the in-feed side until I have enough room to move one hand to the out-feed side of the planer. Once one face is nice and clean, I'll move on to jointing one edge. I'm gonna adjust the guard from the fence enough so that the wood can pass between it. Before starting this up, I'm gonna check that the fence is actually at 90 degrees using a square. Similar to the face jointing, I then run the piece of wood against the fence over the blades. As I joint the edge, I keep pressure against the fence, which results in a lovely 90 degree finished edge. After the surface planer has established a nice reference face and edge, we use the thickness planer to create parallel faces to that. I find the initial height by putting the piece under the carriage and lowering until it just starts to grab, and then it's a case of in one side, out the other side, slightly smaller. I use the thickness planer to get both edges parallel, but you can also use a table saw for this. And that is how you go from this to this with three easy tools in three easy steps. If you have any questions about milling or the tools we used in this video, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.